Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and in the previous tutorial we discussed about text and annotate function. Using these two function we can add text to the plot. I'll just show you an example of text function. We can use text function like this. Here I used two text function because I want to add text in two positions and I can save and run this program. In the two location we can see the text right now if I want to write this text in the box then how to do that now if you want to add box to the text then you can use pbox keyword argument in the text and annotate function so in the text function and annotate function we can use many keyword arguments right in that there is a keyword argument called bbox which allows us to add box to the text so this vbox keyword argument will take the dictionary value. So we need to mention the key and value pair. So let's take the example for this. So here in this example, let's take the vbox keyword argument here. I need to write the argument name that is vbox equal to as I said, it will take the dictionary value. First, I'll take a empty dictionary and I won't add this vbox keyword for the second text. So let's execute this. And here we can see the box to the first text here. We didn't add B box keyword. That's why we can't see any box here, but here we can see the text in the box. The default box style is square. So here we can see the square box here. If I add B box here and if I take empty dictionary, now here also we can see the box. Now here we can see the color of the box. The inside color is nothing but blue. Now if you want to change that you can use the face color. You can take face color as key. I'll take FC and here I'll take color as red. And here we can see the face color is red now. You can change the edge color also the box edge color. And here you can take for edge color you need to use easy edge color here also I'll take FC and here I'll take color as green right so as I said default box style is square if you want to change that there are, there are different box styles available we can use uh, circle so we'll get the circle instead of square box or we can use D arrow you can see the arrow in both the side or you can use L arrow left arrow left side arrow R arrow right side arrow you can use round round 4 or you can use round tooth saw tooth and square the default value is square so let's change the box style you need to take it as box style and I'll take the value as circle for here I'll take the box style as R arrow and here we can see this is the circle. This is the R arrow. Here you can take D arrow and here you can take L arrow. Here you can see this is the L arrow. This is D arrow or you can use uh, round tooth and uh, saw tooth. So this is saw tooth here like this. You can use round tooth also. Here we can see this is round tooth. So in this way you can change the style of the box. So we added a box to the text and we changed the box color and also box style in the text function. Let's see how to use this keyword argument in the annotate function. So here we have example which is using annotate function. This function contains yes that is the string value. This is the place where we need to annotate. This is the place where you want to add text and here we want to add arrow between the xy and xy text. That's why we are using arrow props. Next if I use b box b box and first I'll take the empty dictionary and here we can see the box right. Here also you can change the style of the box using the box style or the color as well as edge color. And also if you want to add more space between the text and the box edge, 
for example here in the b box keyword argument here we can't see much space between the text and the edge edge of the box now if you want to increase the space you can use pad so for that when you take the b box style you can change the pad box style i'll take it as circle and here you can take pad is equal to you can take 0.9 now close this okay you can mention the pad with the style box style and here we can see now we have more uh, space between the text and uh, the box edge you can do this in the b box keyword so in the text function also you can use this pad if i use 0.1 we can see the less space between the text and the edge of the box okay so this is about how we can add box to the text in the text function and annotate function so here we can change the face color edge color as well as box style as well as you can change the pad the space between the text and the edge of the box okay so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care